Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create blocks in AutoCAD. A block is a collection of lines, arcs, polylines, planes, any kind of objects grouped to form a single object. These blocks can be stored in the current drawing and we can have easy access to them by clicking in this icon. Here you can see all the blocks that I have in this file. I can just click in one of them and place it where I want. Now imagine that I have drawn this door. If I hover the pointer over it, I can see the different objects that make up this door. And now I will convert them to a block. In the Home tab, I click in this icon located in the block section and it will open the block definition window. First, I will choose a name for my block. For example, door standard. In this part, I will click in this icon to pick a base point. For example, my left corner can be a good one. And then I have to select the objects if I click here. I select all the door and press enter. Finally, I just click in OK. And if I place the pointer over the door, you can see only one object, which is called block reference. As you see, I can select now the wall figure with only one click. And if I want to insert it later in a certain place, I can click in the icon, insert a block and look for it in the list here. Usually the last one that I created will appear at the bottom of the list, so I can scroll everything down. I click in the door and I'm going to insert it in this space here. Then if I want to insert again the same block, I press enter to activate the previous command. And I can see here, enter block name or the name of the previous block, door standard. So I can press enter, click where I want to insert it. Then for the scale factor, I want to keep the same scale. And for that, I need to type one, which is already by default. So I press enter. For the Y scale factor, I press enter again. Finally, they asked for a rotation angle, or I can do it manually. I click here. For this case, I could use the rotation angle to make this door to the other side. I, I click in this corner, and now the second point, I place it here. And suddenly, I made the rotation of 180 degrees. How to edit a block? Sometimes we realized we need to make any changes to a block we created previously. So suppose that we need to change these trees. I click in one of them. Then I go with the mouse to this section and click in, the, in this icon that says block editor. In this window, I can choose the block I want to edit, but it already shows the one I selected before. I click OK, and now I can change everything that I want. I will switch to the Home tab, but first I want to draw in the same layer. So I select one of the objects, and I click in this icon of Make Current to activate that layer. Now I will draw a circle here, for example. I can close now my block editor and here I click in save. So as you see, I changed all the blocks of this block reference and this avoid me to change the block one by one, which I can save loads of time. But if I just want to edit one of the blocks, for example this, I'm going to use the command explode. So it's this one, I click on it, I select the block and press enter. 
So now everything is listed in these very small lines and in this case this circle. Now I can just select for example this part and delete it or the circle and all the other blocks remain the same. How can I insert a block located in another file? If I click in insert a block, in this list I can only find blocks of this current file, but don't worry because there is a simple way to do it. I will go to the view tab and in the palette section I click in this icon here. It's the design center. As you see, the Design Center has a layout similar to Windows Explorer, with the folder list on the left. So what I need to do is just to search for the file where I have the block that I want to insert. Let's suppose it's this one, I will double click on it, and here I will have access to the storage of this file. Not only blocks, but I could also add some dimension styles or layers that I have here. I double click in blocks and now I will click in the one that I want to insert in this current file. For example, if I double click in this, it opens the insert window and I can just click in OK. If the units of this drawing were different than the current one, they will be automatically convert. I'll insert the block here. OK, now let's teach you how to add attributes to a block. An attribute definition is basically text to be stored into a block. For example, if I create a box like this to write the details of my drawing project, I can convert this to a block with editing attributes like this to be inserted in the blanks. So, to add an attribute definition, I have to click in this arrow here and then in this icon. You have several options to edit here, but for now, I will focus only in the text to insert. Here in prompt, I write the question and it's what will appear in this part. Then, this is an important thing, I will specify the text height by clicking here. This is the same way as the single text. I insert a line which height will be the size of the text. Here I can specify the rotation, or if I simply want it horizontal, just keep it zero. The tag is not really important what you type here. This is just what will be seen when we insert the attribute. For example, I can put the first three letters. So the first attribute, I place it here. Then I press enter to reactivate the previous command to insert another attribute definition. And this time will be for the first line of the blank location. So I write here location address and then the tag. I click in OK and insert it there. So after this, I will do the same for all the others. Then, after creating all the attributes, I'm going to create a block with all this. I click in the icon to create a block, or I can type block. I choose a name for it. Then, I pick a base point this one, and when I click to select the objects, I will click in the attributes one by one in the order that I want them to be displayed. 
if I just select everything with the selection window, then they will be appear randomly. So this is the reason that I do it one by one. After the attributes, I select the objects that I want to add to the black. I could also do the reverse, selecting first the objects and then the attributes. I press enter and click OK. So this window opens to fill the attributes and I just need to write all the information about this project. When I'm finished, I click in OK and you can see how it looks like. Basically, if I create a block with this box with attribute definitions, I can use it for all the projects that I make in the future. So, thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to CAD in Black to watch all the tutorials of AutoCAD. Also, if you need extra help, I can give you online private lessons by Google Hangouts. It's very simple. Just uh, write me an email and I will answer you as soon as possible. Thank you and uh, see you next time.